Good morning, 2019. Can't believe it's here. This is technically January 2nd. I got up, as you guys saw, at about 622. Set my alarm for 555. Trying to get better at waking up when I want to. I basically woke up, washed my face, came right down to the kitchen where I do most of my work. I have a notebook here with all of my goals for 2019. I have a goal that says make more content, but better content. I have a weight loss goal. So they're right here. So that first thing in the morning, I see them. And not only did I write my goals down, and you guys know I talk about this in my um, book, Get It Together, I also have the action plan for my goal. So I knew that this morning my goal was to send 100 cold emails. Normally it would be 50, but since it's a short week, it's Wednesday to Friday this week, I'm on it. So I didn't let myself answer any other emails this morning. Literally it's eight o'clock and from 6.30 to eight, I've just been pitching. And I turned on music and I'm trying to pitch as fast as my little fingers will type, but I'm gonna show you guys the rest of my day, so stay tuned. I am all dressed for work. Um, showed you guys my outfit. This is a sweater that I got from Nordstrom. That's a weird angle. And my shoes are Rag and & Bone and my jeans are Good American, yes. It's the Khloe Kardashian brand. So I am going to pack my bags and I'm gonna head over to the office. So here I go. So I just walked into the office and there's a lot of stuff going on. My lovely assistant got me all of this stuff, which is so nice. And then an author sent me her book, 13 Things Mentally Strong Women Don't Do, which I'm excited to read. It's 1228, I've been sitting here, I just did four phone calls and I hit my goal of sending out 100 cold emails today. I haven't even looked at my emails because I just wanted to get my task done. I'm sucking on a Jolly Ranch right now, very important news. And I am going to do a big email blast and then I think I'm gonna go home for lunch. I had some pineapple, or actually I'm having some pineapple now in a bowl, it's a little snack. And I had some chicken, I call it project chicken, you guys should watch my cooking video on it some chicken that my husband and I meal prepped last night because we're trying to get better at that during the week. I wanted to chat with you guys about the power of reaching out. Um, I just got off the phone with someone who heard me on Caitlin Bristow's podcast and she just messaged me on Instagram and she said, I would love to meet you. I'm really excited about Career Queen and what you have going on. And so I just talked to this really nice girl and she said she's really passionate about Career Queen and it was just what I would call a connector conversation, but you never know what's gonna happen from these things. And I think that these connector conversations are important. And now that she's on my radar, I know she's in Atlanta, I know she's passionate. I'm gonna be in Atlanta in a month. I told her I'd love to have coffee with her. And who knows, maybe she'll be working for Career Queen one day. I just wanted to remind you guys that when, when you hear speakers, when you hear guests or experts on your favorite TV show or talk show or podcast or whatever it is, like don't be afraid to reach out, slip into the DMs if you know what I mean, because not everybody's gonna respond, but some people will. Follow up. Um, I can't get back to everybody, I'm a human, I forget, I have, you know, I get distracted, but like follow up with me because you never know where these relationships are gonna go. And again, not everything's gonna work out, trust me, I told you guys I did 100 emails today, I've only heard back from like two people and they both said no, but you never know. So that's my advice for the moment, back to my day. <laughs> My computer is closed. I spent the last hour or so just looking at the day tomorrow and making sure I'm prepared for it. I'm ready for dance. It's cold, that's why I'm wearing a weird sweater. No pain, no champagne. Got my water bottle, ate my banana. Let's do this! It's cold in Los Angeles, so the day is still going. I basically went to my workout class. Then my friend Shannon called and she had work to do. So she was like, I'm gonna go to the Starbucks by your house. Do you wanna meet me there? I couldn't resist, but it was great because I used that time to clear the rest of my emails. They keep coming in. So at some point you just gotta stop. Um, and I actually worked on my book proposal number four, which is exciting. And for me, if I'm gonna do any creative writing projects, it really has to be early in the morning or late at night or else. Just not gonna get done during the work day, too much going on. My ah, lovely husband just went and got some dinner items because it is now 7.36 p.m. and I am starving like a barbin. The day continues. Popcorn's gone crazy. Ah! 
I wanted to make sure that I talked to you guys today about asking for favors. I always tell students after I meet them at colleges that if they have a question for me, ask. But if you don't have a question for me, you don't need to ask because you wanna make sure that you don't use all of your favor cards right before they're up. And that's not to say that there's a certain amount of questions that someone can ask me or can't ask me, but if you're gonna ask someone a question, make sure you actually have a question. Don't just ask to ask. It's kind of like me, if I know the president of a big ad agency, right? He's up here, right? Like I am not him. I am not as established, experienced as he is. But if I asked him questions all the time, he'd get annoyed and he'd be like, look, Lauren, I'm happy to help you, but I can't do everything for you. So my advice to you guys is prioritize the favors and hold out for the ask. Um, when I knew my book was coming out, I knew I was going to have to ask a lot of people for favors, right? When you know that you're graduating, you're probably going to have to ask a lot of people for favors. So hold the favors, right? Hold the favors until you really need them because people can't reach out endlessly about you. So hold the favors. That's my advice.